Hey, how's it going? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. Um, wanted to just shoot this quick little video today to talk a little bit about, well, what I think is, um, you know, a big reason why a lot of people don't succeed when it comes to online marketing, you know, building the internet marketing business. Hey there, my name is Aaron Chen. For those of you who don't know me, I've been online for nine years, eight of those nine years failed really miserably. So I know a thing or two about not doing well when it comes to, you know, trying to build a business, trying to become an online entrepreneur and building, um, you know, whether it's an internet marketing business or selling products online or whatever it is, okay? Lots of different types of business models out there. So. What I found is that, you know, having the right strategy in place um, to build your business and, you know, knowing where to generate your leads, how to generate them, um, you know, how to do presentations and all that kind of stuff and having the right product, that's all good stuff. But what I'm going to be talking about today, this is the stuff that's really overlooked, I think. Um, and it's, I would say, majority of the reason why people don't actually end up doing well in their businesses, um, okay? And so, um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it and how you can um, avoid doing this and what are some of the solutions to the problem, okay? Um, the real problem I would say about the reason why people generally don't do very well um, is that they don't even get their businesses off the ground to begin with. It's not that the strategies that they learn are not good, it's because they're not taking enough action. That's that's pretty much it, okay? So there are you won't believe how many people will invest money in a course, right? So let's just say it's learning how to drive leads on Facebook or YouTube or learning how to do a webinar or whatever, but they never actually complete that course. So, you know, they'll buy it, they'll spend like 500 bucks on it or how, however much it costs, right? Um, and then they would literally watch maybe, um, you know, one or two videos and then they'll then they won't you know they won't finish it and that is really the problem it's because they don't finish courses and they don't really understand how to implement the strategies and then they end up not doing anything they don't take any action um, and that's how they end up failing it's because it's their business is really a non-starter right so you know the simple solution to this is to take action you know I know it's it's such a simple thing but um, Building a business is all about taking action. The more action you take in your business, the more steps that you take um, to, to you know, implement things and strategies in your business, the more likely you're gonna succeed. You know, if, you're, if you don't do it at all, then how do you expect to get any results in your business, right? Uh, another category of people I would say um, that, that tend to struggle a lot um, are the people that, you know, get ready to get ready, right? So they want everything to be perfect, absolutely perfect before they upload a video or before they, you know, um, send an email to their list, right? They want to be the best copywriter before they send an email to their list. They want to, you know, be the best presenter on video before they record a YouTube video, right? They want to, um, you know, you get the idea, but it, it's simply impossible because just the fact that you don't do these things means that you're never going to become an expert, right? So if you don't write emails and send it to your list, you know, on a regular basis, then you're never, get, you're never going to improve your copywriting skills, right? Because you don't know whether the emails that you're sending are actually effective or not, right? If you don't ever practice doing a video like this today, then you'll never get, you know, you'll never practice talking in front of a camera and you'll never really know if your videos are effective or not, or whether you're able to create good, engaging content, right? The only way you're gonna do it is if you just do it, right? Just do it, yeah? Just take action, um, and don't worry so much about, you know, making mistakes, or, uh, you know, whether the video is not perfect, or uh, whether your email, you know, sounds just right. It doesn't really matter, yeah? Um, it's all about taking action. So, imperfect action always trumps perfect inaction. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Um, imperfect action always trumps perfect inaction, right? I mean, if you're gonna be so perfect, but you're not gonna take any action at all, then nothing's really gonna happen, right? Because you haven't actually taken action. So I'll just give you another example, right? If you were to put out a um, hundred videos, but your hundred videos, you know, the quality, they, they generally aren't very good, right? But because you, you, because you made so many videos and you tried you know to do the on-page SEO optimization for YouTube you, you kind of did it half right out of the hundred videos it's very likely that 
maybe five or ten of those videos will actually rank even though you don't really know what you're doing okay as long as you're trying to do the on-page SEO now if you just randomly upload videos onto YouTube without doing any on-page SEO your, your, your videos would definitely not rank okay then it's not even worth it but if you know the basics of on-page SEO but you don't get everything right that means you only do maybe 70% of what you're supposed to do okay out of a hundred videos it's likely that 10, 10, 5 or 10 of them will actually rank, right? Um, so if you, if you have 5 or 10 videos ranking for some pretty good keywords, then you're going to get results because people are going to see your videos. And even though your videos aren't that great, just the fact that you have 10 videos that are ranking out there, you're going to convert some people. Believe me. You know, even if your videos aren't that good, you're going to convert some people because you're getting in front of people, right? Versus if you didn't do any videos, let's just say you were, you know, trying so hard to be perfect and you only wanted to upload a video if it was the, you know, if everything was right, you're, you know, you're, you're speaking really fluently, you've got your keywords down pat, blah, 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 all that stuff. And you upload maybe five videos, okay? And out of those five videos, even if you did the on-page SEO, you know, fairly okay, maybe none of them rank because you're not uploading enough videos for you to get that traction um, or you're not you're not playing the numbers basically you're not playing the averages right because when you upload videos onto YouTube not every single one of your videos are gonna rank unfortunately um, now I show people how to do it so that you know you'll rank maybe 90% of the videos okay um, not all of my videos rank but I would say I would say 85 to 90% of them do rank okay um, and then it's it's literally about doing the right things uh, on the back end to make sure that they rank high, okay? Because there's a difference between ranking your videos um, and ranking them highly, right? So, um, but but if you don't rank them at all, then it, it doesn't really matter because YouTube doesn't even recognize your videos. That, that's, that's the tricky part. Okay, anyway, I digress. But I hope you can see the point, right? If you're doing volume, even if you're not being perfect, okay? Um, and it's, you know, and you're not doing everything 100% right, just the fact that you're doing a lot of volume will get you results, okay? I hope that makes sense, right? Because a lot of people, they get too caught up in being perfect, right? When I first started doing videos uh, nine years ago in my business, um, I mean, I look back now and to be honest, some of my videos are pretty pretty bad. <laughs> you know, I look back at some of my old videos and some of them are actually still on YouTube. It's funny, right? And I'll be like, oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that haircut in a while. Or I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Man, my style was, was really, I was kind of dead and, you know, I wasn't that dynamic. I wasn't that excited. Um, I thought I was, but actually when, when I watch my videos now, I'm just like, oh, don't, don't really like it. It's a little bit embarrassing, right? But it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter. The fact that I was getting out there, that was practice, okay? Um, and, you know, if I if I count the amount of videos that I've done to date, I don't know, but, but it's in the hundreds. It's probably in like the, you know, three or four or five hundred videos that I've done um, over the last, yeah, nine years. I mean, nine years is a long time, you know? Um, I did them for a while, then I stopped doing them, then I did a little bit, I stopped doing them, and, you know, over the last year, I've been doing a lot of video, right? Um, so actually, it should be more, but it's because it's been kind of going up and down. But the point is, is that I did it, you know? And even though there are hundreds of videos that I did at the start of my internet marketing career that won't be any use right now because they were, they were not very good and they, I didn't really understand on-page SEO at all. So I remember in my first year when I started doing videos, I must have done like 100, 150 videos. None of them ranked. None of them actually ranked because I didn't understand the YouTube strategy. I didn't really get it. I just thought that all you have to do is open up a channel and just do lots of video and then people are gonna find your video. But it doesn't work that way, right? You have to do good video and you've got to rank it so that people can find your video for certain keywords, right? I didn't I didn't know that. So I did a lot of stuff and you know instead of kind of you know looking back and saying oh man that was a waste of time the way that I look at it is that was practice right that's like target practice for you to get better because the stuff that you're gonna do isn't always gonna work right but as you're doing it what, what it's doing is, is it's forcing you to take action um, and it's forcing you to hone your skill set right it's forcing you to get better and better and better at what you do um, and now Every time I do a video, I know exactly what I'm doing, I know how to rank, um, and I know that it's gonna be a good quality video and it's gonna convert, right? And so that's just video. I mean, you have to look at your entire business like that, you know? Um, it's the same with email. The more emails you send, the, the more you know what works and what, what doesn't. And when you first start, maybe your emails are gonna suck, right? Um, just like my email sucked when I first started writing, but you get better. 
you know, you you invest a little bit in copywriting courses. Maybe you don't. I didn't even actually invest in any copywriting course. No, maybe one. Okay, a long time ago, right? And um, it just got better because I started writing, you know, a lot of emails. Um, and you're gonna find that with your marketing skills as well. But again, it's not gonna make any difference if you don't take any action. Okay, so stop planning. You know, stop, stop getting ready to get ready. You just gotta do it. Don't worry. Don't worry about the result. Okay. Um, just, just know that. You know, the first few months of taking action isn't really gonna do anything for your business. It's just, you know, you, you just have to do it. Or you just have to do it. And then over time, you're gonna start to refine your skills and then you're gonna hit some aha moments and you're gonna be like, ah, okay, now I understand. You know, I should have been doing this or I shouldn't have been doing that. But you're still taking action and it's about building momentum in your business. Don't worry so much about the result. Don't worry so much about people saying, oh, I saw that video from, from Wendy and she was saying the wrong thing. Or, oh, I saw that video from Wendy and, um, you know, or Jack and he wasn't making eye contact with the camera. Who cares? You know, because Jack's not going to opt into your list anyway because he saw one of your old videos that wasn't so good, but it doesn't matter because the internet is so vast that when you create good content, a lot of people are gonna see it and those are really the people that you wanna affect. So don't worry about, you know, the first few hundred people that see your crappy stuff or get your crappy emails because they don't really matter. If you really think about it, they don't really matter. What really matters um, are the people that, um, you know, you, you're able to affect change with when you start getting really good at what you're doing, okay? I hope that makes sense, right? Can you see how, um, you know, taking lots of action, doing lots of volume is gonna really help you in your business? There's a great book that you have to pick up. I covered this in, in one of my in my videos uh, previously, but there's a great book by a guy called Grant Cardone. You, you might have heard about him, right? It's called 10X, okay? And in this book, what he talks about is literally about volume. It's, it's a volume game. The more you do, the more you're gonna get back, right? So instead of doing one video, do 100 videos. Instead of writing one email, write 1,000 emails, right? Instead of doing one Facebook update, do 5,000 Facebook updates, right? And if you're doing that, what's gonna happen is just the fact that there's so much of your content out there, you're gonna get results. You're gonna get way, 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 way more results than if you if you did like two videos. It kind of makes sense, right? So that's what 10X is about. So if, if you want a little bit of motivation on you know creating volume and taking action in your business, then check out Grant Cardone's 10X. It's a great, great book, okay? Highly recommended. So let me know what you thought in the comments below, you know? Have you been struggling with taking action? Have you been struggling with, you know, getting ready for the sake of getting ready, right? Are you a perfectionist? You know, the thing is, is it's funny because I'm a perfectionist, but um, I take action really, really quickly. You know, I want my videos and my emails and all that stuff to be good, but I understand that if I, if I take five hours to plan one video, I'm never gonna get my videos done, you know? Literally, I will think of my keywords um, I'll spend, that's, that's the most amount of time I spend on my video actually. Um, I will think about my keywords, I'll do a little bit of research, make sure there's volume on the keywords, because I don't want to be ranking for keywords where you know there's only like five people a month searching for them, right? I want some volume. So I do some keyword research, um, that would take me maybe like 10-15 minutes depending on how many keywords I'm actually searching for. And then once I'm done, I have a really quick think about the structure of my video, like one minute, and then I just hit hit record. And that's it. And I literally, I just wing my videos. I don't even really plan them so much because I, I kind of know, you know, what I want to say and, and just kind of go with the flow. Just be yourself, right? And this is what we're talking about video, right? Um, if you're doing webinars or you're writing email, you got to plan that stuff a little bit more, okay? But video, um, you can kind of just go with the flow a little bit more. It's, it's not such a bad thing, especially if you're just creating, you know, um, high value, high content videos, you can just kind of flow with it. But obviously if it's a sales video, um, then it's a little bit different. You got to plan that stuff. Okay. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. Um, you know, are you just planning? Are you kind of like procrastinating? Are you, uh, you know, too much of a perfectionist? Let me know. Uh, let me know if this video helped you. I hope it did. Give me a thumbs up if you thought it was a, a decent video and, um, you know, it's going to help you out in your, in your day to day marketing. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to get more videos like this and hey if you want to spend a little bit more time with me I would love to spend a bit more time with you I want to show you how um, I was able to build my business personally okay and to get access to that all you have to do is click on the link right below this video um, you'll see a little link in the description box and um, I hope you know that that training 
is gonna help you to build a very, very successful business online. So listen, I look forward to um, your success online. Let me know how that goes and, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Take care.